Hi everybody, hope you're having a great day today. Welcome back to another episode of Heat My Shorts. First of all, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to a younger viewer of ours who is just loving the content. I'm going to read out parts of a comment here. Uh, personal message here. Um, I'm not going to use any real names just for privacy's sake. Um, Landers loves you and Maggie. He sure loves watching your videos. He just laughs every time Heat My Shorts is said. LOL. So I just wanted to read that out. I think that's really cool that we have a younger viewer who's super stoked on the name, loves watching the videos, feels like he's a part of this, and he is a part of this. So give him some love. I want to give a shout out to Landers. You're awesome, buddy. You're a big part of this community and we love having you around here. So now without further ado, I want to get into this review. This is a really exciting review. Um, I've already had this hot sauce before. It's actually one of my very favorites. From Elijah's Extreme in North Carolina. This is their handcrafted reaper sauce. Now this company actually has a really cool story. I have this on my phone as well. Um, it's just kind of small lettering, so it's easier to read uh, if I take a picture of it and read it out for you. Elijah's Extreme Reaper Sauce is a father and son handcrafted North Carolina made recipe using all natural ingredients. Our black cherry cranberry bourbon Reaper Sauce has a unique savory yet delicious different sorry deliciously different flavor combined with the fire of the carolina reaper pepper the hottest pepper in the world it will warm your soul and make you see death itself that sounds awesome here's elijah's story at the age of six in his father's garden asked elijah asked what he could do to become the youngest person to eat their world's hottest pepper at that, his father gave him a hot banana pepper and said, start here. The first bite sent Elijah running for water and began his love of hot peppers and hot sauces. Elijah and his father, now more than a decade later through trial and error, created their first hot sauce, Elijah's Extreme Ghost Pepper Sauce. Try it. I actually have that one and another one sitting beside me here to review in a separate video. Elijah's Extreme gourmet sauces are father and son handcrafted recipes inspired by Elijah and his father's passion to create better tasting, hotter, thicker hot sauce. Share pics on Facebook. That is awesome. Here's the ingredients. Black cherries, brown sugar, tomato paste, cranberry sauce consisting of cranberries, cane sugar and water, Carolina Reaper peppers, Kentucky bourbon whiskey, Onion, vinegar, water, vanilla extract, and sea salt. It says on the bottle, this, this sauce is all natural, vegan, and gluten-free. Award-winning, sorry, multi-award-winning, savory, sweet, hot flavor. Manufactured and distributed by Elijah's Extreme Gourmet Sauces. Gastonia, uh, North Carolina. Gastonia. That's a cool name. Got to be NC Products. So anyways, let's get this factory seal off and see what kind of a consistency we're dealing with here. A little shake up first. Oh yeah, it looks, looks nice and thick. It's got some, some pieces that stay up at the top the top of the neck when I shake it around there. Nice dark color. Yeah, it's a thicker style sauce for sure. It's not a not a paste or a, or a mash by any means, but a nice thick sauce. Let's open it up and give it a smell. Oh, it smells so sweet. You get the cherry. You get the cherry right away. Cranberry. Kentucky bourbon, that's got to be what that is. I'm not too familiar with, uh, with bourbons, to be honest. 
Oh, that smells so good. It's got a really nice, sweet scent to it. Onion vinegar. Vanilla. Yeah, definitely the vanilla. Definitely me picking up the vanilla. And as always, I will not be tainting my sauce. Use my Johnny Scoville Chase the Heat Mother of Pearl Spoon. Will not alter your sauces. That's gonna fall over. Alrighty. Let's give this a pour. I'm shaky today. Oh, look at that. Like I said, um, I've had this sauce probably, I've probably gone through two or three bottles of this sauce. Ooh, it's one of my very favorites. So sweet. It's got a little bit of a sting right off the bat. You can taste the cranberry more than you can, more than I can smell it. It's got a really nice burn to it. Really nice, really nice sting. Absolutely delicious sauce. Not your typical hot sauce by any means. Sweeter than most. Definitely sweeter than most hot sauces. Wow. Yeah, the black cherries and the cranberry and what must be that, that Kentucky bourbon whiskey. The vanilla goes so well with that. Some really good things to to pair this sauce with that I've found so far are it goes excellent on a peanut butter sandwich. Um, put it on your ice cream, any kind of ice cream really. I find that a vanilla or you know a lighter colored ice cream typically brings out the the flavor of the hot sauce more, whereas the chocolate, even the chocolate would be, actually I don't, I don't know if I put this on chocolate ice cream yet, but that would be delicious as well. Chocolate and cherry, right? Black forest kind of a thing, I believe. Um, put it in your oatmeal, your breakfast, your, your yogurts, put it on a pie. Yeah, put this on a cherry pie, put this on top, or even like a peach pie or something like that. I think this would go really well with it. Put this on your pancakes, on your waffles, yeah, any, any kind of a dessert, or just by the spoonful. It's it's like a candy. It is so good. Um, I will I will definitely buy this again. Uh, it's one of my very favorites. My partner actually bought me the very first one. I believe it was for my birthday. I went through it so fast. I had to go get another one like almost immediately because I went through it within a matter of like a day or two. I think. So I will definitely keep buying this one. I will leave a link in the description down below. Uh, we did not find this one from the Elijah's Extreme website. We actually found this at a store in our city called Fresh's Best Salsa Co. I will leave a link in the description down below for them. They are my favorite place to buy hot sauces in my city in Kamloops. They have, as far as I know, the best selection by far, as far as variety and quality of uh, sauces, and then other things is, uh, aside from sauces, like they make their they make their own sauces, they make their own chips, which are excellent, like uh, tri-colored chips. Um, they make awesome dips. What else do they do? All sorts of things. They have, I believe, they have canning supplies there. They have all sorts of. Mexican food type things, dips and chips and spicy things, and I think they even have um, pepper growing kits there. It's just a great store worth checking out. Really friendly staff, always a good vibe in there. They're being really safe during these times too, which is always always helpful. I mean, you're, you have to be, but it's nice that they're just so willing to do it. So they're a great company. Fresh's Best Salsa Company. 
What else do we have going on here? Um, I want to send another shout out actually to a channel uh, in the Chile community of ours. Um, Rhett Grizzly Heat Griffin and Lady Grizz. I want to send some love out to them. Um, they just could really use some love right now. Um, they're having a bit of a tough day and uh, Rhett is pumping out some videos which are worth checking out. He'll go into what's going on in more detail in his videos. So I definitely recommend hopping over to his channel. Throw him some love. Throw, throw his lady some love too. They, they really appreciate it. They're really great people. Um, you guys hang in, in there. We all love you. You're a huge part of this chili community and we love you. Other stuff. Tomorrow afternoon sometime I'm going to be doing another Tube of Terror with Johnny Scoville and David Martin and this time Tommy Scoville is going to be joining us Johnny's brother so that'll be really exciting he looks just like Johnny that is Mr. Scoville right there bald with a goatee he's got it triple braided there he sometimes does that for his for his competitions but this, I'm so stoked about this. I'm already in the League of Fire. I'm just acquiring more points now. Climbing the ladder, gonna see how far to the top I can get um, safely, of course. I'm not gonna overdo anything. I have a couple more of these tubes in stock as well, so I'm ready to uh, climb the ladder some more. Other things that we have going on. Uh, I wanted to show you the Poe Dameron Blaster. This is the one that I talked about previously on, I believe it was the egg challenge video, maybe not though, one of my videos, you should go back and check it out. I talked about how I took a nerf blaster and I turned it into a more realistic looking and still functioning nerf blaster. This fires foam darts and it still fires them. I actually have two of them because Amazon lost the first one so they sent me another one. Then they somehow the other one turned up in the mail so now I have two. So I'm going to do this other one. This is what it looked like when I got it. It has a scope rail on the top here, a big hole at the back here where you're supposed to put your finger in to pull the, to cock the hammer back. Uh, I did the weathering on it. I cut these cooling vents around the knot, around the tip there. Took off all the lettering and warnings and sanded them flat. So I think I'll make another build video out of that. I don't know whether I'll do it in one video or a build series, but maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments down below how you think I should do this Poe Dameron blaster build series or video. I could do it a, a high speed thing so that it's, you know, essentially no audio and just quick work, or we could do it day by day or, you know, one video at a time. Let me know what you think. Other than that, my Lego set that I've been waiting for showed up. I am still not going to tell you which one it is because it's more fun to leave you waiting and guessing. Uh, and that's another thing I'd like some input on. What do you think? How, how do you think I should do that video? I'm kind of thinking a time lapse on that one as well. Maybe an overhead camera and just build it because it'll take me a few hours and I'm sure you don't want to watch a few hours of me building Lego. That's boring. I don't know how, what I'm going to even talk about for three hours. So I think it'll be a time lapse video. Let me know what you think about that one. So, not a huge Lego set, but it's, you know, bigger. Not too, not too bad. Other than that, I have more things from Blazing Foods to review and try out for the first time. They are the, the company that makes the Tube of Terror, the Death Nut Challenge that I just did, the Corn Nugs that I reviewed, the Pork Skins, the, the Habanero Pork Skins, and the Super Hots that I have not reviewed yet, which I still need to do. So my Blazing Foods reviews are piling up on me, um, which is exciting. That's a good problem to have. But I think that it, that's about it for now. Um, this run, video is run, running a bit longer than I intended already, uh, as they always do. So I think I'll cut it off here. I, uh, I really appreciate all of you watching and subscribing. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the bell and uh, click all notifications so you get everything so you don't miss anything. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow 
for Tube of Terror. I haven't decided if I'm going to go live on my channel yet or not. It will be live, I believe, on Johnny Scoville's Chase the Heat channel, and I will let you know more about it when I know more about it. I'm super pumped about this, so tune in and cheer me on. I love you all. Have a great day, and uh, we will chat soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>